So you you have a uh, internal reflection touch screen here. Yeah, yeah. and um, so the camera's set up to basically capture the reflected light from the acrylic surface here. So we're shining an infrared light into the acrylic and it's being trapped inside and when your finger touches the surface, light escapes and the camera can detect it. So, so Okay, mm -hmm. so it's a frustrated internal reflection Yes, frustrated screen. internal. Okay. Yeah, totally and the, totally there's an infrared filter in front of the camera. Yeah, and so that's to um, prevent visible light from basically interfering with the effect. Although the intensity of the light received is pretty high, we, can, we could do without it possibly, but this is probably better because in this, and with this setup we can put this anywhere and not really be concerned about um, external light. Okay, let me, now let me get over here so I can see mm -hmm. the screen of the okay. computer. So we have um, like the image streaming into MATLAB as you can see. And so these are the blocks that have been detected by my finger. Uh, we have like a, currently a frame rate of like 6 frames per second if we are doing uh, the image streaming. But then we can boost this to about 8 or, or 9 frames per second if we just stream the rotation data. So. At the bottom, we have the data that's telling you which angles are being activated right now. And we use this information to calculate like the rotation. And we, s we are sending out key presses to simulate like the scratching of the DJ um, scratch. So, so the multi-touch is controlling the DJ interface. Yes. And you wrote a, you wrote a Java applet, uh, a Java routine that hooks MATLAB up to the... Um, this, the simulates program, the, the keyboard. program calls, yeah, calls some Java like, function just to... To make a mouse on keyboard. So.